Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about regret. I don't have many regrets in my career as a software developer, but there's one that really sticks out and I think a lot of developers probably have this regret too, at least in hindsight. On my first job out of university, I was working on a unit testing tool for C and C++. It was interesting work. I was learning something new every day. I was learning about testing. I was learning about embedded devices and how computers work at a lower level. I was later moved onto a client site to work on their internet bank. The project was all in C-sharp, which at the time I didn't actually know, but I was able to learn quickly and soon I was finishing tickets and adding features to the product. Over the next two years, I carried on delivering features sprint after sprint. Then I was moved on to another client project using exactly the same tech stack. And there I stayed for another two years doing the same thing. As time went on, I got more and more demotivated. I knew C Sharp and SQL to a decent level and that seemed to be enough to do everything I needed to do in my job. It wasn't that I knew everything, but I knew enough to do the work that I was required to do. And the thing is, everyone around me didn't seem to know much more than I did either. For those last two years at that company, I could probably count all of the new technologies that I'd learned on one hand. I'd basically stagnated, but it took me two years to realize this. I changed jobs to an exciting startup in London, and I was learning something new every day. The work was challenging, but I was growing, and so was my salary. If only I'd made that jump sooner, I wouldn't have wasted a couple of years without learning anything new. I'm now a lot better at switching jobs. I never stay in one position for more than two years. In some cases, I might move internally at the same company so I can learn something new, but other times I just have to change to a different job. Every year I ask myself the question, am I still learning? I see developers all the time fall into this trap. They like being the expert, they like being the go-to person for any particular topic. The problem is, once you know more than anyone else on a particular subject, you're probably not learning anything new on a regular basis. You don't really want to be the smartest person in the room. I've interviewed lots of candidates before that have 10 years experience, but when you look at their CV, they spent those 10 years at the same company on the same tech stack. In the job that I was interviewing for, we were using .NET Core, AWS, and microservices. And of course, these candidates had no experience in any of these technologies. If they have used these technologies in their own personal projects, then that does go in their favor. But there's nothing quite like using a technology in anger in a real world setting. There's a quote in the book, Six Months to Six Figures, that comes to mind. You often hear people say, I have 20 years experience, I should get paid more. But in actual fact, they only have one year of experience repeated 20 times. If after a year on your job, you still aren't learning something new, at least weekly, then you should seriously consider looking for a different position. Those who are not used to changing their jobs every few years are probably thinking, doesn't job loyalty count for anything? Isn't it good to show that you've been at one company for 10 years? Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It means diddly squat. If you look at the recent layoffs in software engineering from highly profitable companies like Microsoft, you'll see that loyalty really didn't come into it. Some of the developers that were recently let go at Microsoft have been at the company for over 25 years and had developed technologies that you use every single day. Clearly, loyalty should never be a factor in your decision-making process. Microsoft may have laid people off at random based on their salary and nothing else, but chances are there's probably a few other factors at play. I suspect that some of these developers at Microsoft got a little bit too comfortable in their positions. They were the go-to people, but they weren't necessarily contributing or learning anything new on a regular basis. Of course, I don't know this for sure, Microsoft could have just pulled their names out of a hat. Either way, loyalty didn't come into the decision. Companies aren't going to keep you around if you aren't a good investment anymore. You need to make sure that you're investing in yourself and you're investing in your skill set and learning something new every day. This will be really beneficial when you do come to change your job, which probably should be sooner rather than later. If you like this video, then you might like this one on the worst things about being a software developer. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.